Well, good morning, everybody. Buon giorno. It's a beautiful day, even though they're calling for thunderstorms later, but we're going to go out and enjoy the sunshine later on. But anyway, I thought I'd share with you, since we're baking today, I made, I put on anyway, my baking shirt. So, you know, that's what I do. I bake and I know things. Like I know things like an Italian mother, you know, telling you how to live your life. I know not everybody wants to be told what to do. Don't tell me how to live my life, people say. But you know what? There are some better ways to live your life, like be nice. You know, I was reading some stuff on one of the local pages online. And boy, really, people just get on each other's crap all the time. It's just not worth it. You know, in our dialect, we say fatti fatti tuoi means basically find your own business. If it has something to do with the greater good, then by all means, put it out there. You know those old sayings, you catch more bees with honey, or you know, you catch more flies with honey, or I don't know, whatever. You catch more things with nice things. You know what I'm saying? When you're nice, people are nice back. I don't have a problem with people being mean to me once they get to know me anyway. They might be a mean person to start with, but then I'm like taking them cookies. And How do you not like somebody that brings you cookies? You know, so today we're going to make some cookies and we are going to actually, I'm going to take some, there's a new neighbor that moved in down the street, haven't met them yet. So I figured perfect timing, let's make some cookies. So anyway, so let's bake and know things and know nice things, you know? So anyway, time to put on my apron with my glitzy D on. Does anybody know how to fold an apron really quick? You know, if you got a bib apron, fold the bib down, fold it in half, you get all your handles on this side, fold it in half again, and boom, 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 boom. This is how I roll mine up. And then just roll this, and they all fit in my drawer nice and neat. And then you just go, whoop! It's like magic, you know? <laughs> I know, I'm a little goofy today. I am in a silly mood today. But, you know, I bake and I know things. <laughs> This is such an easy recipe. And you can modify it to do a couple different things. So we're gonna start really easy. Basically, you're putting in equal quantities. So for example, if you're using cup measures, they're gonna be equal quantities. It's not equal weights, so I'll give you the weights as well. So anyway, we're gonna do one cup, which is approximately 120 grams. So we're gonna actually do two cups because we want to make a bunch of these, okay? And then, these are Nutella cookies. Look at this big thing of Nutella. I love these. You know, you can never have too much Nutella. Some people aren't, you know, big fans of it. For me, I just love it. So anyway, I'm gonna show you a little trick. When you're doing stuff that's sticky like this, um, and you gotta measure it out, put a little smidgen, so like something like, Nutella, peanut butter, anything that's gooey gooey. Take a little drop of oil in your measuring cup and measure, you know, just spread it around. Then wipe your hands on your apron. So then what happens is when you put your Nutella, because we want approximately a cup of this, which is about 300 grams. But now normally this would totally stick to this, watch, boom, haha, <laughs> isn't that cool? So we're gonna put in, we're gonna put in a little less than two cups, I don't wanna overdo it. You can go anywhere from three quarters, then, like I said, this is like a malleable recipe. You can do anywhere from a three quarters to a cup. All right, that's almost a cup. So we got one cup, see, and there's just a little bit of dirty in there, but it's okay. Oh, look now, oh, look. Got this other spoon, I gotta scrape some off. But you know, we didn't grease the spoon. So now, I have two dirty spoons. Boop -a -doo. What shall I do with them? Mmm. Yum. Okay. And now, we're gonna throw in two eggs. Actually, I'm gonna use my Nutella thing here to break them in two. So that's one. 
and this is too. You can throw them all in at once. You can throw this stuff in at once. You can try mixing the Nutella with the um, with the flour. You can do it any which way. I've seen it done a million ways. It doesn't really matter. So we're just going to gently, lovingly, messily mix all this together. The more egg you put in it, the little bit cakier it will get. Um, the less egg, well you need the egg, the less egg um, you put in, it's a little like chewier and crispier. This is literally these three ingredients. Yeah, I'm gonna put one more egg in. Cause when you double, like this recipe is really, and we're gonna be really careful here cause I'm not breaking it into something first. There we go. I did it. No shell. So now we're just gonna make little balls. And you can pick your size. I make them about, what's that? A little one inch ball. So half of them, I'm just going to use the palm of my hand and just kind of flatten them down a little bit so that we're gonna have plain old regular cookies. These ones, watch this. I'm take my dirty, this. I'm going to kind of make a little hole in the middle. I'm gonna push down, make a hole in the middle. But not all the way to the bottom. Make it like a little, like a little cup. But watch what we're gonna do. You can do a bunch of different things. What did I do with my little teeny? Oh, I threw it in the sink. Hold on. Actually, this is gonna be better. So we could take a little dab. So you've got this chocolate Nutella cookie. Put a little dab of Nutella in the middle. Let me do that in a couple of them. Just a little bit. It's like a little, this is a little demi toss spoon. So we're gonna really, we're gonna go all out here. This is for the chocolate lover. This is not the kind of cookie you make all the time. These are like special treat ones, you know, that special occasion or whatever. I have some almond butter. Let's, let's put a little teeny dab of almond. Let's try, let's try, I haven't done, I've never done it with the almond. Let's try a little bit of almond butter. I've got all these goodies. You know, take out your, this is um, pistachios. So like I could put, you know, a couple pistachios on top. How cute is that? I could, I've got, this is like a trail mix. <laughs> my, hands, my hands are greasy. Let's see what's in here. So on here I've got, I've got some peanuts. Let's put a couple peanuts that one I've got an almond we'll stick an almond in there now the ones with the with the almond butter I'm gonna check these are kind of like a little M&M kind of thing I'm gonna stick one of those on top just because I think that's cute and then the last one we'll put two raisins on since I've got some raisins so you can put whatever you like on top and make them pretty you can make them all one way or make them all another okay you can also Take a little powdered sugar on these other ones. I'm gonna do it on three of them. And we're gonna see all these different little cookies we just made out of one Nutella dough. All right, let's see. Whoop. All right, let's make a few more. All right, let's make these. We're gonna do these all flat. And the next tray is gonna be all little cups. So. That way, I'm sure they're all going to cook evenly. Ooh, I'm going to have to get another tray out when I make them. You know, if you're going to make cookies, seriously, make a bunch. Make a double batch. I never make less than... Have you ever really, truly not needed more than a single batch? Okay, if you're just making them for yourself for dinner tonight, dessert, okay, just make a single batch because otherwise you'll eat them all but there's always reason to share them. So always make enough to share something like this. You could take these balls like this and freeze them without cooking them, just like this. And then what you do is you put them on a cookie sheet like this, slide them into the freezer, or if not, you need a, if you need a smaller cookie sheet, use your toaster oven pan and then do a couple at a time. But you flash freeze them. And of course, if you're gonna freeze them, you can put them closer together on the tray, you know, cause they're not spreading. Flash freeze them and then throw them in a Ziploc baggie once they're frozen. So like an hour or so and they're frozen, you take them out. It's before they get frostbite, you know, and you throw these in a bag. Then, ha ha, 
Then all you do is take them out, put three, four, five, six of them on a tray, you know, let them sit out for half an hour, throw them in the oven, boom. A quick little dessert for you and your honey, you and your friend, you and your brother, your sister, your neighbor, whatever, tea time, cook coffee time, coffee break, you know. Two little cookies with your afternoon espresso, your afternoon cafe. All right, we're gonna make these all little cups. Perfect little circle holes in the middle. See the bottom end of the spoon has use too. And they're gonna crack and they're gonna make little, you know, crinklies and it's okay. That's what makes them beautiful. That was a little bit too much of a crack. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna put a little dab in there. All right, a little bit of jam, a little bit of marmelata. That's, oh, that's gonna be yum. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that was a whole blackberry. Look at that. I'm gonna stick it on there. Boom. These are good. <laughs> Look at all these different ways we've made these. So we've got the little cups now with the chocolate with the Nutella in them, with the blackberry jam. Oh boy. So these are plain ones. The ones in the oven, the cups all have little, well, let's throw a few nuts on. What the heck? Let's see where to put them. I like the pistachios. These are classy, you know? Everybody likes a pistachio. Pistacchio, they say in Italian. You can also chop up like hazelnuts would be really good because of course this is a hazelnut spread so that goes really well. You know, I'll leave a couple, I'm gonna take that one off. I'll leave a couple plain ones. Oops, I have to eat that Nutella covered pistachio. Woo! Actually, yum. Okay hands, pot holders, we're going to take, oh, the ones that were on the bottom, the top, we're going to move them all around, and there we go. Now everybody's on a different rack. That first rack, though, is going to be ready in a minute. So, I think this batch is ready. Okay. Check these out. Oh, look at how nice they come up. The ones with the powdered sugar, you can just see it a little bit, but you know, you can powder sugar them before the oven or after the oven. And look at these ones with the, that are a little taller and they've got a, they've got the, the filling in them. Mm, nice. Oh, these are cute. The almond butter with the um with the MM in the middle. Oh, ouch! I'm touching hot stuff. <laughs> Missed the pan. I'm used to having my glove on and those are pretty. Got the almond in this one, the raisins, the MMs with the almond butter, the Nutella with the peanuts and the pistachios. Nice. And in just a second, we're gonna test taste these. I want them to be cooled off a little. Look how cute they are. And I do think that if I put these on a platter, then I'll sprinkle them with some powdered sugar. I think they'll look pretty that way. You could also sprinkle them with cocoa. Since these are sweet, cocoa's not sweet, but you still get that taste and you got the sweetness in the cookie. So cocoa on cocoa is actually very nice. Ah! Okay, it fell and Louie's not here, so shh. Oops, look at that. I just want to taste a plain one. Let's taste one of these. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Hey, hon. You want to try a cookie? <laughs> he just doesn't want to be on camera. Oh, mm, my goodness. So, you can see how they make a little bit of crackle on the top. The edges, they're not, I won't say they're crispy, but they're firm. They got a little crisp to them. And the inside is, can you see it? It's like chewy. Mm. Oh, well. 
So simple. So good. But this is a nice little treat, you know? And I'm gonna make a nice little platter and take them over to my new neighbor. And look how pretty they are. With just a little powdered sugar on top. Of course, I just got on my tray, but you can see how cute they are. Anyway, I'm gonna let it go at this. You've seen all my beautiful cookies. They have, you know, you can powdered sugar these too. You know, the blackberry jam ones even are cute with a little sugar on them. Or you can just leave them as they are plain. They're totally, totally still inviting. Just like this, the bottoms are perfectly brown. They're not burnt, but they're nice and firm on the outside, chewy on the inside, kind of like the perfect cookie. And these are the perfect size. You're not overdoing it. So you have two of these with your coffee in the afternoon. It's just a nice little pick me up, you know? So enjoy your day. Have some dessert so you keep them at the table a little longer. Please subscribe to my stuff, you know, the, you know, the routine, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Please share my videos. I would really appreciate it. And you know what? Hashtag Darina's Kitchen on everything that you get from me. I would be so thrilled if you would do that. Hashtag Darina's Kitchen. Even if you just get an idea and you want to share a recipe or a dish or a picture you've made, you know, hashtag it to me so I can see what you've done and hopefully I've had a little, little influence in this lifetime here. So have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao.